Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rick Bedard. I'm the school business manager for Millbury Public Schools. I'm here with Patrick Mara. He's our athletic director. And we have Kevin Chrysopoulos videotaping for us. So we're going to be able to put this tape recording uh, on the website, Millbury Public Schools website, as well as the Weston Graphics website, according to the Attorney General's COVID-19 procedures for opening public bids. So that's how we're going to conduct this. So again, this is the Millbury High School Athletic Field Amenities Building rebid. Um, it is June 24th. It is noontime, and we are at the superintendent's office at 12 Martin Street. So we have eight bids. Nine. Nine bids, Mr. Mara, and they're all here on time. So the first bid is Phelan with a PH. E-L-A-N Construction, LLC, and that's here on time. And like in the past, Pat, I might need your help to walk through some of these things. But the general bid form is here. And um, addenda 1, 2, and 3 acknowledged. Base bid amount is 5,747,000. 574,900. Five, Sorry. 574,900 even. Okay. Under D, the subdivision amount is 393,150. Okay. And they have acknowledged the subbidders of Lapan Mechanical and Renard Electrical. They read an amount there. I believe it was one hundred and fifty seven fifty. Lapan one hundred and fifty thousand seven fifty, and Renard thirty one thousand for total under this item two, one hundred eighty one thousand seven fifty. Um, so can you can we go back to oh base bid amount okay that's good so I think the way it work I think the way it works is so three ninety three one fifty that's their bid plus the plus the one eighty one seven fifty is five seventy four should equal five seventy four nine okay. Okay. If you don't, I'll do them in order I see them. Is that sure, all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bid bond 5% is here. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate as the corporate bidder is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law are here. Certificate of vote, uh, it says here, not applicable to bidder, Phelan Construction LLC is a limited liability company. All bid documents have been signed by its managing member. 
Okay. Tegan Phelan. Okay. Certificate of Compliance is here. Contractor Qualifications Statement is here. Certificate of Contractor Eligibility is here. And the Update Statement is here. And again, that's the only piece that's not public information. The rest will be public. Okay. Is that everything? It is everything. So, Phelan Construction LLC is complete. The next one we have is Watermark. They're at a Lowell Mass. It's on time. Okay, so addenda one, two, and three are here. Okay. Base bid amount is six hundred and forty-four thousand zero fifty-eight six four four zero five eight. Now under D, subdivision of the proposed bid amounts, they have N A. Here. Okay. And then uh, on, on item two, the sub bids. So it'll be the same thing as we just heard. So LePan Mechanical, one hundred and fifty thousand seven fifty. One hundred fifty thousand seven fifty. Okay. Yes. All right, and then 31,000 for Renard. And then 31,000 for Renard for a total of 181,750. Now for the bid bond, we have a treasurer's check, Enterprise Bank, for thirty-two thousand five hundred. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate of Corporate Bidder is here. Certification of Prevailing Wage is here. Certifications Required by Law is here. Certificate of Vote is here. Certificate of Compliance is here. Contractor qualification statement is here, as well as the certificate of contractor eligibility. And Watermark's update statement is here. Okay, complete. So this one is complete. Next one is Construction Dynamics Incorporated out of Clinton, Mass. Okay. And this is on time.
Okay, general bid form is here, and one, two, and three addenda is, is here. Okay. Acknowledged. Base bid amount six hundred and sixty-four thousand even six six four zero zero zero. Okay. And under D for the subdivision, base bid amount four eight two. Two five zero four hundred eighty-two thousand two fifty. And then um, under the sub bids, it would be the same. Lapan uh, Mechanical one hundred fifty thousand seven fifty, and Renard Electrical at thirty-one thousand for a total of one hundred eighty-one thousand seven fifty. I know it's the same thing, but I'll probably end up reading it to you every yeah, time. Yeah, that's fine. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate of corporate bidder is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law is here. Certificate of vote is here. Certificate of Compliance is here. Contractor Qualification Statement is here. And then over here, Bid Bond of 5%. Certificate of Contractor Eligibility is here. And the update statement for construction dynamics is here. Okay. That's complete, complete Pat? Okay. Yeah. Okay, this bid is Stutman Contracting Incorporated out of Oxford, Mass. And it's on time. Too, so here's page one. Uh, general bid form is here. Addenda one, two, three are acknowledged. Okay. Base bid amount five hundred and sixty-three thousand even. So that's five six three zero zero zero. And then under D, the subdivision is three hundred eighty-one thousand two fifty. 381250. Right. And then again, again under item two, Lappin Mechanical, 150,750. And Renard is under electrical for 31,000 for a total of 181,750. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate as the corporate bidder is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law is here. Certificate of vote is here. Certificate of Compliance is here. <clears throat> and a bid bond of 5% is here. Certificate of Contract Eligibility is here. And an update statement for Stutman Contracting Incorporated is here. Qualification statement. So I missed it. 
it. No, I don't think I said that. I didn't see that. So that one's missing the contract, the qualification statement. We have the update and we have the contract the eligibility. So we have the DCAM eligibility, contractor update statement, but we do not have the qual contractor qualification statement. Right. Next bit is classic construction out of Littleton, Mass. It's here, it's on time. Uh, addenda one, two, and three are acknowledged. Base bid is 648,000 even. So that's 648000. Under D, the base bid amount is 466250 466250. And then item two, plumbing, uh, be LePan Mechanical, 150750 and Renard Electric, 31,000 even for a total under item two of 181,750. Bid bond amount of 5% is here. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate of vote is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certificate as the corporate bidder is here. Certificate of compliance is here. Certifications required by law are here. Contract the qualification statement is here. Certificate of contract eligibility is here. And the update statement for Classic Construction Development Corporation is here. That is complete. I think when we're done, Mr. Maher, I'm going to have you go through the one I looked at before that had one missing. So maybe we'll do that if there's anything else missing, okay. just to make sure. Next bid is GVW Incorporated. They're out of East Boston. GVW Incorporated, it's on time. Uh, general bid form is here. And one, two, and three addenda are all acknowledged. Base bid amount is six hundred ninety-four thousand. I'm going to say four thirty-five. Look like a four to you. It does. Yeah. Okay. Six nine four four three five. Um, so under the D, the base bid amount is five hundred twelve thousand six eighty-five. Five one two six eight five. And then under item two, LePan Mechanical, 150,750. Renard Electrical, 31,000 even. So total under item two is 181,750. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate as to corporate bidder is here. 
certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law is here. Certificate of vote is here. Certificate of compliance is here. Bid bond in the amount of 5% is here. Certificate of contractor eligibility is here. And the update statement from DCAM for GVW Incorporated is here. And we might have that same form missing. Contractor qualification. Am I right? Did I not yeah, say that? Correct. Okay. So I'm going to put that one aside. So we'll come back to both of this and anything else. And I'll just have you double check at the end, Pat. Yep. Okay, the next one is APC Development Group Incorporated. They're out of Hanover, Mass. It's on time. General bid form is here, um, one, two, and three, the addenda acknowledged. A base bid amount, 685,654, so that's 685,654. Base bid amount under D is 503,904, 503,904. Under the sub bid section, Lapan Mechanical, 150,750. Renard Electrical, 31,000 even for total under item two of 181,750. Bid bond in the amount of 5% is here. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate as the corporate bidder is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law is here. Certificate of vote is here. Certificate of compliance is here. Contractor qualification statement is here. Certificate of contractor eligibility is here. And a DCAM update statement for APC Development Group Incorporated is here. Complete. That one is complete. So this one, we don't know who it is yet, but it's on time. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery. I'm just trying to build the suspense for you, Pat, that's all. Okay, so we'll get to the name of the company first. So the name of the company is Manemsha Development Group Incorporated. So that's M-E-N-E-M-S-H-A Development Group Incorporated out of Weymouth, Mass. 
Manemsha Development Group. And it's on time. We have three, one, two, and three. Addenda is acknowledged. Base bid amount under item C is $698,460. So that's 698460. Under D, base bid amount under D is $516,710. 516710. And then under the sub bidder section, item two, LaPan Mechanical, 150,750, and Renard Electrical, 31,000, for a total under item two of 181,750. Conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate as the corporate bidder is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law is here. Certificate of compliance is here. here on the bid bond, so just double checking. Package here for bid bond is here for 5%. Certificate of contractor eligibility is here. DCAM update statement for Menemshaw Development Group Incorporated is here. And more reference information and construction team bios is here. Uh, and then contractor qualification statement is here. Let me just go through again. Um, I'm missing a certificate of vote. Let me just run through. Um, just Can you just start from the conflict of interest? Sure. Conflict just of interest. Sure we have that. Okay. Certificate as the corporate bidder. Yep. Certification of prevailing wage. Yep. Certifications required by law. Okay. Certificate of compliance. Maybe it's in with these bid bond things. Bid bond. The only thing left here is a California all-purpose acknowledgement um, and traveler's power of attorney. So I, I, I'll have to look. I don't know what these mean, but um, that's what's left. So these are pieces that will be made public. 
So we'll have to make a determination on that. I don't, these could be that, Pat, I'm not sure. So okay. we'll have to put question mark. But the form that we ask for, I don't see. Certificate of vote. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last bid is Tower Construction Corp out of Cranston, Rhode Island. And this one's on time. General bid form is here. And agenda one, two, and three are acknowledged. Base bid amount five hundred and eighty-three thousand even, so that's five eight three zero zero zero. Under D, the base bid amount is four hundred and one thousand two fifty, so that's four zero one two five zero. Under section two, item two rather, it's Lapan Mechanical at one hundred fifty thousand seven fifty. And Renard Electrical at 31,000 even for a total of item two, 181,750. Certificate, I mean, conflict of interest certification is here. Certificate as the corporate bidder is here. Certification of prevailing wage is here. Certifications required by law. Certifications required by law is here. Certificate of vote is here. Certificate of compliance is here. <clears throat> Bid bond in the amount of 5% is here. Contractor qualification statement is here. And this is a second copy of the same thing. And then certificate of contractor eligibility is here. And then an update statement for Tower Construction Corp is here. It is complete. That is complete. That's all the bids. And I'm just going to ask you to double check my work. So I think these two. And on your records, Pat, these two are missing. What did we head down? The contractor qualification statement. Okay, so if you could check my work. So this is GVW Incorporated.
I do not see it. Okay. Thank you, sir. So that's GVW Incorporated. And then the other one we want to look again is the same form, Stutman Contracting. Do you want to also look at mementos for the certificate of vote? Sure. While we're while we're doing this, I think maybe. Yep. So that was Stutman Contracting. And then we're going to come back to Menemsha Development Group. And on this one, we were looking for Certificate of Vote. Certificate of Vote. So, right, especially right around that bid bond area, that's where I saw some of those forms I weren't sure about. I didn't see the form that we asked them for. Form that I do not see the form that we asked for. It's not here, not right? Here. Form that we asked for, and it does say Menemsha Development Group Incorporated, so they're incorporated, so we would need the certificate of vote. So, anyway, we're not making any decisions here today, but we just want to acknowledge that three of the bit of the eight, nine, nine, three of the nine bids, thank you, three of the nine bids is. Um, one thing missing on each one that we will have to deliberate on and make a determination. So again, that's Menemsha, 
uh, the certificate of vote. And then Stutman contracting in GVW is missing the contractor qualification contractor qualification statement. So those are the two. The others, all the other six are complete. So that completes the bid opening for the Athletic High School Field Amenities Building, or the rebid. Again, I want to thank all the bidders for participating. Again, as I've mentioned at the last bid opening, we're very excited about this project. We're excited about getting the building built. So we will be in touch with all the bidders. So I want to thank you very much, and this concludes the bid opening.